when people normally think of Colorado, they think of the Denver Broncos, the, the scenic Rocky Mountains, the gorgeous Front Range, the plains out north near Kansas, and short track racing at a high school? Yes, please. Oh, and on a Friday night? Hell yeah! That's what we have on tap tonight. Today, 33 men made their way from Texas all the way to Brighton, Colorado, where we are going to go short track racing under the light. Sparks are guaranteed to fly. Tempers will also be guaranteed to fly. But in the end, when one person stands out above the rest, they will be crowned with, well, the chase worth. Rocky Mountain 350, next. Welcome to Brighton, Colorado, down here in, well, to the Brighton High School track and field here in Brighton, Colorado for the Rocky Mountain 300. Being the first Friday in April, that means, right, temperatures are going to be warm, warm as it's been all season, 75 degrees here, from shortly after 6.30 here in Rocky Mountain. So far, the temperature right now is 73 degrees. I'm sure when the sun don't go down here tonight, all hell is going to break loose. Let's give you the track description. One mile oval. But since it's a short track, you're going to see some pushing and shoving. You're going to see a lot of pushing and shoving. And judging by how wide the straightaways can get, they can get five wide in the corners. No joke. Remember last year, they got five wide. Jacob Cube and Caleb Hoffman and Jake engaged in a spirited duel, but Jacob Cube ended up on top. That's why he is one of the favorites to win tonight. Want to know how to get around here? Just follow me. Okay, y'all. Want to figure out how to get around this place? Just follow me. Most one mile tracks like Phoenix or Dover or Pocono have one specific route. Here, you can run anywhere, but you don't have to be tucked in a line. You can try to pan out three wide, three wide in the corners, four wide in the corners. One problem somebody slips, you're taking ten cars out with you. Remember, you want to be on the gas in, a, in, in the corner here. We're going to try taking the middle line normal way in. So we're going to go up near the wall. They reinforce the uh, fence, cheap fence with tire barriers and jersey barriers for this race. Okay, right here you want to arc your car in deep. Arc your car in deep. See how I'm getting near the corner, near the corner on the bottom. Compared to most one mile tracks where you'll see some guys on the apron, here there's not really much of it unless you want to hit the curb and spin out. Okay, coming down the back straightaway here, you're going to be literally on the ass on on the gas you'll sometimes you'll see guys fan out fan out here in order to get through the corner heck you'll see some guys pushing each other here in the corners
Right here, you want to arc it in deep, but again, don't get your tires below the below the track. Otherwise, you're going to spin around. Then, coming off turn four, you're going to be on the gas. Some guys will like, what there's no cars near them. Some guys will try, like to fan out two, three, sometimes four wide through here. And that's a lap around the Brighton High School track and field in a car. Thank you all. So you see the lights are obviously on. Remember, remember some of you guys will use this race just like Atlanta and Texas the past couple of weeks. The other Texas I was doing Pit Pass 98. You'll see these tracks do appear in the stage. Texas appears first, so there's less time to repair, but some of the winners in the stage already, like Jacob Tube, Spike TV, and Dylan Merwest, they'll just use these races as test races for what it's going to be like in November. That's actually a pretty good strategy, in my opinion. And now, let's take a good old look at your starting lineup. This starting lineup... That's all I like. This starting lineup is presented to you by Denver Healthcare. Now, let's get take a look at the starting lineup for tonight's race. Row 1, we have the Exalta Chevrolet and the Lowe Chevrolet. It's a test car this week. Row 2 finds the Target Chevrolet and the Dollar General Toyota. Row 3, we have Punta Row Chevrolet and the Pencil Platinum Ford. Row 4 finds Charles Jackson in the 7 car. Remember, he finished to uh, have that nice run in Texas. Crashed out in Atlanta. By the way, how the Steelers race will be posted later. Um, and Mason Powers, too, is outside. Row 5, we have the Time War, right in the top 10, we have the Time War Cable Chevrolet and the Hot Dog Nation Chevrolet. Row 6, you have the 9 car and the 5 car. Row 7, we have the AT&T Chevrolet and the 17, and the best of the blue clean food. Row number 8, we have the FedEx Express Toyota and the Nationwide Insurance Chevrolet. Row the NASCAR IOP Cup Series point leader, Dylan Merway, will start tonight's race from the 18th spot. Rounding out the top... Ten rows are the Affleck Ford and the GoDaddy Chevrolet. Row 11, we have the one car and the Advocare Ford. Row 12, we have the Cheerio Chevrolet and the Motocraft Ford. Row 13, we have the Snickers Ford and the Mobile One Chevrolet. Row 14, we have the 33 car and the 29 car. Row 15, wow. Look at this. Jackson Hunter, last week's winner, is going to start this race off in 29th. And Bernard's Cup Series hasn't had much of a season since that fluke pole in Vegas. Relatively good qualifier, not tonight. Row 16 finds the 56 car and the 83 car. And finally, from the rear of the field, we have the 3 amp pool. And now, tonight's race menu presented by Acer Laptops. We have 18 laps, so it's definitely going to be. So it's definitely one of the longer races on the schedule, obviously. But 
judging by how these they raced from here last season, where there were wrecks like every four laps. So I'll just probably zip by, either zip by really quickly, or if you have any lots of green flag runs, we'll just they'll be zooming by relatively quickly. Remember, we come back here in May for the for the all for All Star Weekend, and then we race in downtown Brighton in the street course later that month. Neil Fenn, Love him. And now, the pace car is off. One of the most anticipated races on the schedule is about to go green. Has his teammates line up on the front row. Here we go. Green flag is in the air. We are underway at Brighton. All right, ready, ready, ready. Red. All right, green flag, green flag, green flag. All rolling, all rolling. All rolling, rolling with you still. With you, all right. With you still. Forty two is trying to push you. Forty two is going to try to push you. Forty two is going to try to push you. Push you. Forty two. Forty two is going to push you. It's going to push you. Right now. Look at Jake to make making that move like that. You normally don't see it at a track like this, because those kinds of moves are normally reserved for at a place like Daytona or Talladega, which we do come to in a couple weeks in a few races. You can see him just kind of dart from bottom to top, because before you pushed him, he tried to get a run, kind of stifle the momentum of the 48. Now he's they're by a few car lengths, actually, heading into three. Here we go. Two wide. Some three wide racing here. As, oh, that's not going to work. Around goes the seven to Charles Jackson and the 43 of Mason Powers. Both those cars are under the wall. Yellow, 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 yellow. Oh, more, more. Big crash. Turn three. Three, four, five, six. Cars involved here. Looks like Hot Wheels 44 uh, in the 31. Austin Doyle in the 88 that might have gotten a piece of it. Oh, wow. More contact here. Everyone else uh, pretty much stopped in this area. Because there are cars literally all over the place. And not, there's not really much room to, for them to come through. But at the end of that, the 18 is drilled into the side of the 11. Both cars have major damage. And the yellow flag waves here on lap number one. Oh, boy. You have a feeling that's going to be a nice little common sight we're going to see this evening. Am I right? Wow. Wow. How bad they all. Well, let's take a look. Look right here. Right here, you're entering turn three. That's just three wide. Mason Power, uh, Charles Jackson, again, filling in for the injured Chris Washer. We wish him well. Um, he just came down, think, not, didn't know the five, the five is there or not. Look at them, they go into the wall. Um, 41, seven slightly comes down a little bit, and then right here, everybody just, they just pile up here. Then, wow, everyone else stops, they... They stopped because they have had nowhere to go. 
then look at this. Didn't think the third 18 had the memo that the caution was out, and then boom. Right in the direct, right in the contingency area. So the first caution flag has come out, and we are um, on lap number one. And you kind of see how everybody stopped and checked up at the end there. We'll be seeing a lot of Mr. Yellow tonight. I can guarantee you that. So, cars involved in total, the official list, if you do. Just a warning if you do count the 5, the 88, reportedly got a piece of damage, piece of it. Doesn't look like it, but I think he did. So, But we're not going to list them on the list. And looks like some contact for the back. Wow, a lot of damage to the 2's left rear. Not that in, pretty good. I think when everybody stopped and saw the wreck, they 56 didn't see it, and now they've both got heavy damage. Wow, what a twist here at the start of this race. What a twist. Again, um, the 11 is on pit road right now, which is really just preserved behind the grandstands because we can't find a place to put the road on the actual track. So you see him. Remember, under caution, there's a guy coming pit road. All the drivers have to veer off to the right towards the football field so they can reserve the top lane for if he has any issues. Then he's got to make that hard right turn. I mean, it's a really hard right turn. Like, it's almost pretty blind. Most guys don't see it once they have, have to make a pit stop during the race. But an update on Johnson Wishard's condition, since he was the one that piled into the 11, he's got some heavy damage. He's been checked and released from the care center. And he will not be continuing in this race tonight. So, hmm. Already. One victim down. I'm sure there's going to be loads more joining him. And I mean loads more. But the cars that will continue, obviously the total cars involved, eight cars received damage from this accident. Nine if you count the 88, but didn't look like he got in damage, probably just might have nipped the 17 a little bit from that. There's um, Austin Doyle, the 88. Here we have to say to his crew chief moments ago. Did I get any to his uh, spar TJ Majors? Hey, can you tell me the crew chief? Uh, I'm not sure if I got any damage or not. I Yeah, I'm looking at the replay right here and Replay, it looks like you might have uh, nipped the 17 a little bit, but it's probably not anything major. Should I bring it in? Your call. It's a long night, man. Um, stay out if it becomes a problem, I'll bring it in. That's how smart drivers should be in situations. Normally, if it's a rookie driver's mistake, They'd be like, oh my god, I have damage. I'm fucked. But but in this case, he's got great guys behind him. He's got history with winning the championship with Chase Elliott in 24, the nationwide championship with Chase Elliott last year. And he knows what to do when they're faced with a situation like that. Early development. So, for, ow. Early, uh, getting ready for the restart. The left car is uh, still on pit road.
now we are down to 31 cars running. Currently, unclear if the 11 is going to return to the race. Green flag into the air. Into the air, we're back in our green. Fanning out like it's Pocono right here. Boy, that sun was really a problem at the start. You saw some of the drivers kind of put their hands up, up during the qualifying session. Four wide right here in turn one. Dylan Merway being the person way up top. Capscar Racing backs out to give these drivers some room because he knows that they all force the issue. They're all probably going to wreck off of the turn two. Right here, you got Beetle2128. He's going to try to take the top spot. He does, so single file right here at the top. They're all slightly starting to break away. Each of them is a little consistent gap between them. Look at the 22 making a run down low. He's kind of dropped down a few lanes. And then you got everybody 3-4 wide right here. Coming off 2, wow. And I'm thinking the 23 right there almost uh, got knocked into the dirt. Judging by how tight everyone was. Whoa, right here. Oh, in contact. A lot of beating and banging here. Trust me, this place is wide, but you'll... Especially, you'll see some drivers get a little impatient right here. BLG comes across. 128 comes across, too. Leading out from lap number 5. Got Jacob 2 behind hit. Morrison with trying to get some help with Hoffman. Maybe he might be trying to look down low. He's looking way low. He's literally got the 99. He's literally pushing him down the back straightaway. Hey, buddy, we're not at uh, Talladega or anything, so you don't need to do that. <laughs> look at the spots he picked up, though. Literally passed three, four, four cars. And totally passed eight cars in just two laps right here. And all four of them in E flat in one shot. Dylan Merwin making a dive to the bottom. On the 78, so he might have been dipping his wheels in the grass. That probably wasn't really the smartest idea. There are three wide right here. Especially here. Look at this. Uh, Pack of cars. Lead change. See Jake Tube, he's uh remember they are running a drag package that's very similar to what the cup guys ran at Indy. So you're gonna see some guys guys like try to use their bumper as like a slingshot. And look at it look at the gap he cleared him by. Maybe you could fit a about two cars in there. End of that. Teeny, teeny space. Do wide racing here. Especially in this uh, general area. I think the one might have a flat. Uh, guys, 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 guys. Got a flat, got a flat. Oh, wow. Really tough to get on the pit road. Especially since he's, uh, for one, five lanes away from the pit wall. From the inside wall. And, oh. On the outside, inside wall there. Zach Speed pulling the bump and run on the 42. And he's one of the guys that um, ran the bottom during qualifying. He was one of the guys that ran really low, really close. Nearly getting the tires up on the down on the storm drain during that little session. 
So you got three cars, okay? Three groups of cars in clusters. The front six were in two groups of three. And then this group is just in one big blob. Lap six to nineteen has been complete. Looks like the uh, sun is starting to set, so it's becoming less of a problem and hindrance for these guys, these drivers. Oh, we have a problem right here in turn two. Cat's car racing is just blown the wall, or blown the tire. I'm blown the tire, I'm sorry. Not blown the wall, because that would sound kind of perverted. Blown a tire in turn two. He has knocked it down. Ugh, really? Tell at 14 I'm going to get his when I come back out. Tell at 14 I'm going to get his ass when he come back out here. There's uh, frustration. Oh! Meanwhile, behind them, we got more crashing. A uh, couple cars. Down on the bottom in turn uh, one and two. cars around and some of them they really all wanted up really bad here like honestly that could have been much much worse second caution of the night Caution flag is waved. Caution flag is waved. Caution flag is waved. Yellow is waved. Hear it frightened. Don't worry, the cars involved in the second accident, they did get it turned around. Synchronized turning around, too. Sideways. Yep. Wow! Sideways uh, turnaround there, but it's unsure. But see, the contact he was referring to was on the re the couple laps of the lap couple laps before this. It was him in the 88. The one tried to come down. 14 saw a hole. Got him. Got the 88 loose. Tried to get high out of the groove. Out of the groove and away from so it doesn't cause any trouble. But watch this. He just comes in, knocks it down, and. It's like, wow, two different drivers on two different cars. But you see right there, they knocked the wall a few inches. Luckily, the tires and Arm curl barriers. The barriers normally fine on highways. Or did its job. Normally, if you hit the wall, it will probably have uh, gone through it. And if it's gone through the wall, if it was defense, he would have went through the wall and could possibly crash into someone's house, which would probably mean for a very long cleanup. So, and he could probably land himself in the street where there are cars coming by. So, yeah, thank God for safety. But what he's referring to with, so that's what he's referring to with 14. Then watch, this was when the caution came out for the one, he was uh, smoking, but went on the wall. Then those two cars, wow. I have never seen two cars synchronized drift like that and not wreck. Honestly, that could have been a lot bigger if they mistimed it. So, the one car is now joining the 18 and the 11. The 11 is uh, taking this car to the garage for this race. This car will be going to the garage.
Here we go. Green flag back in the air. Boy, look at this. Yeah, some guys uh, really wadding up here. Oh, problems for the three. Three cars got some problems. I think it's a four. Was trying to go in that. Find a hole. Went for it. Then it falling next to three. And something next to twenty four into the wall with and the and the three into the wall. Okay, this guy's a fucking moron. So there's a couple cars breaking away here. Some guys two three wide. And he's in the fence. And we got trouble. Big rack right here. Three. Oh, we got a couple cars around again. Uh, oh, three, four. Looks like Daryl Matthew in 15 is in it again. And we got. So another yellow has come out. And uh, 41 is spun on the apron. So, yeah. That's the third caution in the night. So, things might get a little hasty here. Judging by how big they all just... They all, surprisingly... They... Wanted wrecked about half the could have wrecked about half the field. Too dirty. Judging by the traffic jam. Wow. Another wreck where one wreck happens, everyone slows down, another wreck happens. Just it's called the accordion effect. I guess. Now, here we go for another restart, the third restart of the night. Johnson Morrison is uh, taking his car to the garage without a little visit with the 24. And that's just earned him a visit to the big red truck. From that, he's gonna have a nice little chat after the race. No other cars got collected in it. Hmm. No other cars. No other cars got wadded up in it. Jacob Tube is allowed to keep his position since he was wronged in the incident. And the 56 is also taking this car behind the wall as well. Man, we're just... There's really high attrition tonight. The, remember he got into that dust up with the 2? And then... Drove back in the 83. Zach Speed takes the outside for this restart. Here we go. Green flag. Now we have to restart with 10 laps to go. Dirk, here comes Austin Doyle. He's going to try to make it three wide. Four wide. It's not going to work. Zach Speed into the wall. Here we go. Here we go. They're, they could very well wreck here. I do whatever. Now they got... They could have very all well wrecked there. Judging by how they all stacked up. Looks like 17 of Trent Dunham. Drilled the back of the two. The two car, I believe. So three wide per second. Austin Doyle to the bottom of the racetrack. Just like Haskey and Jake. Too. They're going to unify past the four. And they're all going to clear him. Impressive. What a move by that guy. Big move, big move, big shoes to fill right here. Alright, big shoes, three wide, two. That was a beautiful pass.
Beautiful pass right there by those 300 drivers. Unfortunately, Hunter Miller is mired back in traffic. Not very well, obviously. Could have been a lot bigger. Three wide. Looks like Bill Murray's going to try. Jake, you know he's going to push him. He's going to push him down the back straightaway to the lead. The 42 is going to go with the four cars are as well. Up four, they all do the same thing. In the Navy. This could very well get ugly. This could really, really, really get ugly. This might really get ugly. This will get ugly here. Especially out of three, three wide, four wide. Hell, for a moment they were five wide. Five men unified down the back straight away. And, oh, trouble further back. Two cars around for a slide through the grass. This may not work. Oh, my God. Oh, the six is coming across the track. Wow, a lot of debris kicked up in the 20. Slides across the infield and on the wall. Cars take scattering all over the place behind them. Oh, this is not gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna. Oh no, god, this is gonna hurt. Oh, wow! Big time crash on the front straightaway. Isaiah Johnston and Alvin Alonzo. Big hit from the ten, and now we have our fourth yellow flag. And judging by the amount of debris, and it looks like the six car might be on fire. This is going to be a long while. The dead of night. A uh, pretty long while. Caution is out. Again. More cautions we have. This again, drain last. Drain the last we have. In the Navy. Oh my. A lot of damage to a six car. See Isaiah Johnson and uh, Alvin Alonzo getting out of their car. Alvin Alonzo is the one on it down. I think he's. Um, Isaiah Johnson's out and. Just flip the bird to some to the people in the tower, and he's probably gonna join Jonathan Morrison in the tra he's gonna join Jonathan Morrison in the trailer after the race. Wow, emotions do flare here. Saw what happened. The six was in the middle of the track. Everyone scattered. I don't understand why he didn't throw a caution like he was probably about ready to put it in gear, let it roll. Oh. Good God, that is a huge hit. And. Doink. Look at how much that wall gave. Again, thank the Lord for safety. Red flag is displayed. So you can clean up all the astroturf kicked up from the 20 car, who is out, and he is okay from that wreck. And he's coming for somebody. So he's going to have a meeting with, I'm curious to see, survey says, it's a red car. Hey, yep. Oh, no. Oh, this is going to get good. Nicholas Lopez. 
Fistle's there trying to restrain him. And constant, some bickering right here. These drivers are probably not, not really happy with the, the way this race turned out for them. Debris has been cleaned up. Look at Eminem's Cup Series surviving through all the carnage. He's in sixth. Right now, sixth place. Nearly getting caught in a few wrecks. Is impressive. Green flag into the air. Jacob Tube clears in. Dylan Murway goes four lanes downstairs here. Literally clears to 24 like he wasn't even there. There we got some uh, hardcore racing further back. And oh, trouble for the 33 into the grass. And he saves it. Shit. He saves it. Surprisingly. Save that car. What a save. And he comes across the track. Oh, my God. Wow. What a finish. What a wreck. Here is Mason Powers up across the track. And Mason Powers in the 43 just nowhere to go. And well, it looks like he was going to get straight and just got clobbered in the back. Those two cars are going to be joining the rest of the wreck people in the garage. The 11 is actually coming back out. Here. Remember when we restarted, we had eight to go. Now we're going to be down to six. Six laps here. Head Brighton. Eleven car. And that rack on lap one. And... Mm. Multiple laps down, obviously not a contender anymore. We are, we're at 24 cars right now. Fewest cars in a race so far this season that have survived. Not counting the wreck fest, that was, uh, this is actually turning into a wreck fest. So, fifth caution, if you, uh, all mine. Three flag into the air. We are under, back underway. Beat OG128 gets clear. Jacob Tube jumps down in the hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a hole. There's a hole. There's a hole in the strip club. In the strip club. Five wide in the turn one. This is. Wow. Intensity? Yes, sir. The drivers are getting all they can, and this might as well. This turned into a derby, and they all could just end the race right now. Dylan Murway clears Jake two by three car lanes. Now he's just gonna set sail. Ding, ding. Two sail montage, please. Set sail here. Spin her down the back straight away. That is KFC Cup Series. Okay, hold it, hold it, hold it, straight, get it straight, get it straight, get it straight. Six caution flag. Six cautions ahead of us, Jimmy. You know, we are, the record here, the record for most cautions in a NASCAR stop motion race, or NASCAR IHOP race, is uh, seven. It was in the chase race here in season one. Okay, 99 just spawn us, 99 just spawn us, wrecked. 99 just spawn us, get in the grass, get in the grass. Yeah, he ain't happy. 
he probably, I don't blame him. See him on the double up. Going on lap 15 right now. On the double up here. This was Casey Cup Series registering his displeasure with Caleb Hoffman. Nearly crashing in, bumping into Daryl Matthew. So, there it goes. There might as well go the season. Lap 16 is the restart. Great flag into the air. Boy, I don't remember we got a great jump. So did Jacob, too, but I clears him. Remember, the restart box is a few feet inches before the line. Clears him like he wasn't even there. Wow, what a race right here. He goes sailing off into turn number one. Now on their feet. Three wide for their back. Three wide for their back. Hometown boy Dylan Merways. Out front here at Brighton. Off turn two. He clears the 24. And the rest of the, and the 42. And boy, he is sailing. There are three laps to go here. There are three laps when we get to two to go. And he's going to probably put the bump. He's going to put the bumper to him. And Jacob Tube spins in a little hard. Oh, no. Down and across the field. You okay there, buddy? This changes everything. Doesn't it? Yes, sir. It does. Well, last lap turn of events. You know what this means? Green, white, checkered. So, Jacob Tube, obviously not happy. Pounded the crap out of the back end of that car. And he's not going to finish second tonight. Did it. Basically, he just flat turned him. Didn't put the bumper to him once, and your call. It's basically your judgment if it was uh, deliberate or not. But muscle him out of the way. Pretty, muscle him out of the way pretty good. Then he, Jake Jeep dives it. Tries to block him, then... Boom. Wow, hard hit. Thank God the guardrail gave. So Jake Tube has taken his... He patched up his car. We are going to go overtime racing. Question is... Will we make it next? Question is... We will, and the question is, will we make it that far? Oh, yes, he will. We will. We had a little bit of green flag racing. We have probably two runs tonight of green flag flag racing. By the way, this is the sixth caution flag of the night. Jacob Tube is going to restart back in 23rd place. Currently scored one lap down. Scored two laps down. Here we go. Green flag. Boy, Stag Hathi really stomped on that on that throw there. Look at him. He's he cleared him right here. He's long and gone into turn one. Just Stag Hathi with a nice push. He comes down under him. Three wide for the lead off the two. Here we go. Two wide. Off of two, three, and four wide right here is Jusek Haskey has cleared Dylan Murway by a long shot. Could Jusek Haskey win this thing? You be the call.
Some guys three, four lanes low. Oh, a couple of them are five lanes low. The 21 car right here. Look at me with a brand new Hyundai. He's literally, he's dipping it on the grass. Dipping it low. Dip it low, dip it low, dip it low. The bump and run, there it is. Dylan Murray under the 48. Coming to the white flag this time. Wow, almost an hour of recording. Damn. Look at me with a brand new one. Oh, spinner at the back. Dylan Murray has claimed the white. He gets it looped around. I don't like that when they move it around like that. Car's uh, grass riding here. A lot of spots to be made up. Here they come. Haskey pulls it three wide into one. Whoa, how about Brendan Little? Crappy qualifying effort. He's up there. He could very well end up to victory lane if they all wreck. Trent Dunham has gotten the car turned back around. BWG128 and 42. He's literally drafting. They have settled in the draft. But will they have enough time to catch Dylan Murray? There is some crashing here at the back. Never mind. The green is still out. Possibly involving the 29 and the 5. Off of turn 4, Dylan Murway is going to earn win number 3 and join Jackson Hunter, Jacob Tube, and his good friend Hunter Miller in the chase. Now, back in the pack here, you got 29 cars smoking. He's smoking bad. Smoking bad. Stop, 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 stop. Check your flag, buddy. Wow. Oh, my God. I won in my home state. Yes. Awesome car, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. What a finish. Third win of the season for Dylan Murray. Three. So, four winners. Three different winners and one repeat. Winner in the chase, Dylan Murray, reclaims the points lead after his this cal calculation at Texas. And oh, oh, yep, yep, oh, here we go. Angry drivers, you got some tonight. You got the KFC Cup Series looking for somebody. That'll be Caleb Hoffman. Oh, yep, yeah. Jacob Tube looking for the 42, the BWG128. Please, man, give me your full name, like your real birth name. And. Looks like he's going to stop. This is not... Oh. You don't see Jacob Tube this fired up very often, right? And looks like the pit cruiser are going to go after him, and we got a fight. Oh, wow. So, tempers boiling over at the end of tonight's race. Jacob Tube has scored in the 22nd spot. Or 23rd, to be exact. TBE. And Dylan Murray is your winner. Zach Haskey is uh, going to get an interview from him. Well, Zach, he had a great car. He gave the 42 a push. Can you uh, tell us why you got it, boy? Yeah, short track racing. Congrats to the four. Um, I don't know what that was with the checkers, but... Now, it's short track racing. You're going to see it, and we are going to be off to Bristol here next week. Is that Cassie with his uh, best finish of third? And that wraps up the conclusion of the race tonight at Brighton. 
these cars finished 25th through 33rd. Too dirty. Remember, like this video if you enjoyed. I apologize if this went long, but comment on this video if you please comment on this video and subscribe to Dylan Murway and have an awesome day.